Well, I think coaching philosophy comes over a lot of years of uh, on the field activities, off the field activities. And what you do is try to create a, a good environment for the players, uh, both on and off the field. So I would say it, it's not only, I guess, the lessons that are, that are learned on the field. There's a lot of things as an individual that you need to end up creating for yourself, uh, discipline, organization, structure. So everything that we do uh, is geared toward that, that full development of the player. Uh, so I would say philosophy-wise, it's you know, teaching the uh, elements of the game, but also too of, of how you handle yourself, how you respect the game, and taking care of business off the field also, which is going to end up creating a great environment for yourself uh, in the future. When I knew I wanted to be a coach, probably might have been, I think I was playing uh, professional baseball, I was in minor league baseball, and I was going back to my high school, working out with my high school team. And my high school coach had made a comment to me at that point, he says, well, what are you going to do? What are you going to major in? I says, well, right now I'm majoring in eligibility, uh, haven't really decided what I wanted to do in a career. And uh, he says, you might want to think about coaching. And I said, well, that's not a bad idea. So I, I, it, it evolved, I think, from there. So, well, if I want to coach, what do I need to do to coach? And, well, I probably would need to teach. And I was looking more toward the high school level. So I said, well, if I, if I have to teach, and I'm going to probably have to get a degree in uh, education. So that's what I ended up uh, getting into once I, get in the, once I had to declare my major. Uh, I said, well, I'm going to end up being a teacher, I'll be a coach, and then it just evolved from there, getting up to the collegiate level also. So uh, I would say probably back, uh, it was in my, it, it, when I first started college, uh, when I started going back with my high school team. Well, I think it's a great, it's a great fit for me, it's a great fit for my family. I hope it's a great fit for the University of Akron. Uh, to come back into an environment that I'm very familiar with, it's, it's really great. Uh, the people, the relationships, the coaches, uh, the friends, um, you know, the, the whole, I guess the whole environment of back up, coming back home. It's, uh, it's been really good so far. I expect great things to happen. Uh, a lot of people have helped in this. Uh, I've met a lot, a lot of old friends that have helped me back, get my feet back on the ground, and uh, I think it's going to continue. Uh, it's going to continue very well for us. Well, I think there's a lot of things in place here to be successful. Um, I, I was pleasantly surprised when I came back on campus for my interview, first of all, um, and then the, the days that have followed. I've learned more and more about the campus and athletics and so forth. I knew I knew quite a bit about it. But being away for seven years, I haven't seen it uh, for a long time. I came back on campus and I saw so much take place in those seven years. Um, from the academic side to the, uh, to the physical side with the buildings on campus, the academics and the physical side of it is, is very encouraging. And uh, you can see there's a vision in place. It starts with the president of the university and it, it trickles on down certainly to athletics where athletics is, is an important part of, this, uh, of the success of the university. So uh, coming back in this type of environment, I know it's a very successful environment that uh, I know a lot of good things can take place. Well, I, th I think you're going to see, and in, in what my vision is for the program is, is to, to not only teach and educate the players, but to, I think, get the players out in the community, to be good citizens, um, they're going to see a disciplined uh, student athlete, organized, one that respects the game, uh, one that respects the university. Uh, people, uh, students where, where people can be very proud of uh, that represent this university. So I think you're going to see um, players that are enthusiastic, disciplined, and excited to be a part of, of the University of Akron. Well, I think we're talking ultimate goals that I think you have to take small steps, one step at a time. You know, you take care of the little things, the big things will take care of themselves. So what we want to do is, is certainly get better uh, in all phases of the game, 
Um, we'll get a better feel for that once we start practice here in the fall. We'll see what, uh, the, what type of personnel we have. And still a system for all the players to, to really go by. They need some sort of system. Uh, so that's going to take some time. But then once we end up getting on the field, once we get in the season, um, taking care of one game at a time, it's, it's an old cliche, but it, it, it's true. Don't worry about your opponent. You worry about what you can do as an individual. And then um, good things will usually follow. Uh, if, if, if you do your job, if you do the things that, that you need to do um, as, a, as a person, as a single unit, then the whole team and the whole program benefits. So I'd like to end up seeing us competing, obviously, to, to get back into the MAC championship uh, tournament. And then once you get into postseason, a lot of good things can take place. Uh, you never know what can happen after, uh, after you get into the postseason. You play your best baseball, that's number one. Uh, and then a lot of good things can happen from that, from that point.